Well, today is the day we've been waiting for. It's finally going to be warm enough to get the plastic put on the greenhouse. Now there are two parts to putting the plastic on the greenhouse. The first one is on these end walls. Kevin and I did the very first end wall here before we turned the camera on to make sure that we could refresh our memories how to do it so that we didn't have any struggles or anything. And then the second part is to put the plastic over the rest of the greenhouse. We're hoping to get all of that done today. Now that we've re-familiarized ourselves with this end wall, we'll show you guys when we do the second one. It's been about two years since we had to do the plastic on one of these greenhouses, so it was a little fuzzy in our memory exactly how we did it. But we've got it all figured out again now, and we're going to show you guys. We also installed the door on this end yesterday, and we'll be putting a door down on the other end as well. So we've got a long day of work ahead of us trying to get this all done within one day. We're hoping that it wouldn't be very windy today, and it seems to be a little bit gusty, but either way, the temperature today is supposed to be 71 degrees, but then every day it's supposed to drop just a little bit. And by Wednesday, it's supposed to be 35 and snowing. Right. So it's so important for us to get this done. This may be the only nice day we get for another month, so we need to take full advantage of it. So let's get to work. So before we head down to the other end of the greenhouse to start on that end wall, I wanted to show you guys what we've already done down here. So when you order one of these kits, you, you get three pieces of plastic in the kit. You get one sheet for this end, one sheet for the other. The turkeys have an opinion. One sheet for the other end, and then the big piece that goes over the top. This is one solid piece per end. So basically what we do is we'll, we'll unroll it and then it attaches along this top arch. We'll also attach it here at the corners and we'll pull everything tight. Now at first it'll be going across the opening where the door is so we'll need to cut it once we have it all attached so that we can fit the door inside the frame. That's always the most nerve wracking part is cutting a big hole in the piece of plastic you just put up but you have to do it. Now in our case we're installing these storm doors on each end. Uh, these do not come as part of the kit when you buy a kit. You have to buy these separately. We just buy these at our local hardware store. I like these. You, you could definitely make your own doors if you wanted to, but I like these because they're sturdy. You know, being uh, aluminum they're going to last for a long time. And they have the window that slides up, so if you don't want to leave the door open for ventilation, you could just have this screen for ventilation, which I think is a nice nice thing to have. So let's head on down to the other end and we'll get started on that side of the greenhouse. So I think it unfolds this way and then out. So like the center should be here. Now we have the piece of plastic unrolled on half of this front side and we have it attached at the top with just a one piece of wiggle wire which is at least holding it to the frame now. From here on out, I mean there's no real magic way to do it. You basically need to start adding the wiggle wire and pulling the plastic. You need to just kind of watch the plastic and see where it needs to be pulled. 
pull tight and then you can add your extra wiggle wire as you need it again on these on these sides and then along the bottom we always do the bottom last because it seems like the bottom is where you can pull all of everything tight at once so we do along the top and then the sides and then the bottom last so like i said there's no magic formula and i'm you know i'm sure people who do this for a living are much better at it than we are but we're going to get it done and it's going to be great when we're done so on this side, we finished rolling this out and extending it the full length of the plastic. And then as Kevin was up on top, I was pulling this. Not only did we make sure that there was an even amount over the arch, but I was pulling it kind of sideways this way to keep it as tight as we could so that when he puts the wiggle wire on, it'll be nice and straight. The one thing that we need to try the best that we can on this greenhouse is to have the, the plastic as tight as we can so that there isn't a lot of loose plastic or not a lot of ripples and wrinkles. So that's how we were able to do it so far on this side. Next, we will continue uh, pulling tight along the sides here and uh, Kevin will be able to finish installing the wiggle, wiggle wire here and down the side. All right, so just to review with you guys in case you missed our last video where we showed the wiggle wire and how that worked. Uh, basically what the wiggle wire is is a piece of wire that goes in this track that we've installed on the ed ends and around the greenhouse. And this uh, wiggle wire will just slide in that track and just kind of pops into place. And that's what holds the plastic nice and tight to the frame of the greenhouse. Now this is definitely a two person job. One person to be pulling the plastic while the other person puts the wiggle wire on. So we're gonna put the camera back on the tripod and get back to work. Now when you get to an end, if the wiggle wire is too long, you just need a good heavy duty wire cutters. And just cut it to the length that you need it. Now we'll do the same thing over on the other end. So now that we have it all the way across the bow on both sides, we'll start pulling toward the sides of the greenhouse. You can start at the bottom first. I think that might be a better. All right, so now we've got it attached over the top and on the sides. The last thing to do is attach it down at the ground level. And this is where you can really pull out a lot of those small wrinkles that you still see. So uh, we're just going to start at one end and work our way over. the whole front is attached and it's really I think it tightened up really great so we're gonna work on installing the door which means we're gonna have to cut here which can be a little bit stressful but there's so much plastic overlay here uh, it's gonna make it difficult and it's gonna be in our way so I'm just gonna cut this whole front strip off uh, and then it'll allow us to put up this door a lot easier now there's quite a bit of extra plastic on these two pieces for sure that we are going to hold on to them uh, because they'll, they'll be nice extra to have if we um, you know make any little cold frames or something in the future
There we go. That is a nice piece of extra plastic. Now that we cut that extra plastic off at the ground, we're also going to cut off all the extra plastic that's on the inside. You can see there's quite a bit of extra overhang on the inside, especially down by these ends. So I'm going to start at the middle and just cut down, and we'll save a lot of this too. It's just nice handy stuff to have. Now when you are cutting off the extra plastic, uh, we always leave at least, you know, four or five inches still hanging on the inside. That way, in case you ever do need to make any adjustments to the plastic, if you need to take the wiggle wire out and, you know, try to re-pull it tighter or anything, you have some to work with. So uh, don't cut it all the way even with the track. All right, so now that the front is all put on nice and tight, we're actually gonna cut the area where the door needs to go. Now, the very first time you put one of these up, I guarantee this will be the most intimidating part of the entire process because you feel like you just put all this up and now you're gonna cut a big hole in it. But don't worry, it works out in the end. So we're not gonna just cut all of this plastic out. Uh, we're actually going to just cut some slits in it to be able to put the door in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a line from corner to about the middle, and it doesn't have to be perfect, and then from this corner to about the middle here. All right, so we have a nice flap there, and now we're gonna cut this straight down to the ground. Now, it looks like you just loosened all your plastic back up, but when we start putting the door in, it'll all pull itself nice and tight once again. We're using the same type of door on this end that we have on the other end. Lots of plastic in. Ready? All right, now that we have the door in the frame, I'm gonna be on the outside. I'm gonna actually be screwing the door to the metal frame just using some short uh, sheet metal uh, self-tapping screws. Sarah will be on the inside pulling the, the plastic tight as I put the door on. So I'm gonna start by just putting one screw in so that it holds the door up and we don't have to worry about actually holding it anymore. All right, at least now the door will stay by itself. So now I'll tell Sarah where I'm about to put a screw and then she can pull tight in that area and we'll just work our way down. Now one thing I learned the hard way when we put up our first greenhouse was to be very careful when you're trying to put these in that your screwdriver doesn't slip off the screw and go right through the plastic. I did that on our other one. It's held up just fine anyway, but it's still kind of a bummer to put up something brand new and start with a hole in it. And now we'll just do the same thing on this side of the frame. All right, now that we have that end wall completely up and the door in, it's time to move on to putting the main piece of plastic on. Now there is a little bit of a breeze today. Uh, it's not terrible, it's about 10 miles an hour. We're hoping that no big winds come up right as we're getting it on, but uh, we'll have to see. It's possible that we might need a little bit more help than just the two of us, so the kids are gonna be standing by in case the plastic starts flying, they can hold it down. Also, as you can see, uh, the weather has gotten very nice. Right. 
I am normally a very cold person and we've gone from a long jacket with a couple layers to just a sweater to now just a t-shirt. It's right. an absolutely beautiful day. We had to open up the door and the roll up sides to our first greenhouse because we do have some plants and tubs in there. It was just going to be a little bit too warm. So this is a really nice treat. All right, let's get back to work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the plastic out on the ground next to the greenhouse and then we're going to tie some ropes to the side to the corners of it. Uh, we have like a water bottle attached to it so we can throw those ropes over and pull it over the greenhouse. So what we're about to do is, well, you can see we attach these ropes to the corners. These are water bottles that are filled with water. We're going to use these to throw over the greenhouse so that we can then use the ropes to pull the plastic up. We have some uh, rope in the middle too. We don't have something to throw, but it will give us something to really yank uh, the plastic over. So hopefully we can get this done on the first try. Go ahead. Good throw. Thank you. You too. Pull when we say. I can't hear you. Pull when we say because we need to make sure it's not going to get stuck on anything and rip. If you feel resistance, stop, okay? Yeah. Is there enough for the roll-up side? All right. So now that we've got this over, we're going to actually just attach the wiggle wire just like we did everywhere else. And on these front and back bows, it'll actually go just right over the end wall that we just put on a little while ago. And this track has room for two pieces of wiggle wire, so it's not a problem. So as I'm putting this wiggle wire on, Sarah's actually going to start pulling the piece of plastic tight from the other side. Now that we have the other end completely secured across the bow, it's time to secure this end. So I'll continue putting in the wiggle wire and Sarah will pull the plastic as tight as we can this way. All right, well now the plastic is secured on the front and the back, and I think it's looking amazing. 
you can see that it's nice and tight all the way it looks really awesome but there's one problem over on the other side that we need to fix i don't think it's going to be a big deal let's walk over there and i'll show you so you can see that the plastic is nice and tight everywhere except for this very last bow right here so what we need to do is we need to take some of this wiggle wire back out on this end and we'll try to pull this tighter that way we had the same exact problem when we put up the last greenhouse i don't know why it seems to be like something that happens every time but it's not a big deal to fix we'll just take the wiggle wire out pull this tighter from down here and then it should fix itself all right so we're just going to undo the wiggle wire here So I'm going to also take off this next piece of wiggle wire, but not all the way, only about to the midpoint. There, that made a huge difference. Now it's perfect. Or darn close. Now that the plastic is secured on the front and the back, the last thing to do is to just attach wiggle wire on this track all the way along this side and all the way along the other side and then the plastic will be permanently in place. Well, the plastic is completely secured now to the greenhouse structure you haven't seen inside let's go in and see what it looks like it's looking awesome oh this is fantastic it looks so good now we can get a better idea of the size of the raised bed garden. All the room we'll have to grow in here and then, you know, the room here for the pots that we'll have on both sides and probably on the ends. These sides, they roll up. That's one of the last things that we'll have to do. It's just going to be fantastic. This is fantastic room to grow all of our food. Let's walk through the end. You guys, it's already at least 10 or 15 degrees warmer inside here. Maybe even a little bit warmer than that. It's really warm. Well, we sure did get a lot accomplished today. I can't believe that it's February 2nd and it was 71 degrees out today. How amazing. We got both of those ends put on. We got both of the doors put on. The main piece of plastic, just a great day's work. Well, we've been waiting for two sunny, warm days to come up, and this has just been the perfect amount of time to get this project really seriously underway and almost done. I cannot wait to start planting in there and growing our food. And what a nice break from winter. Even though on Wednesday we're supposed to get snow, this is one of the things we love about this part of the country is that we get these nice breaks from the winter, and it just makes the winter go by a little bit easier. Now, if you guys are interested in a greenhouse kit like this, we got this at growersolution.com. Make sure you check that out. And we actually have a coupon code for all of our followers. Uh, Traditionalist 10 will get you 10% off on an entire greenhouse kit. So you guys, if you're enjoying our videos and if you're enjoying watching this process of our, us building our greenhouse, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure that you share it with all your friends. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.